There's no way in the world that would have ever happened during our era. But it showed a bit of raw emotion. Oh yeah, do you reckon I'm f***ing travel, mate? <laughs> cut, cut, can we start that again? We're here to talk about the test, a new era for the Australian team, a doco series available on Amazon Prime Video. I want to start talking about unprecedented access to the dressing room. Didn't happen so much in our day or even before you started playing, that was sacrosanct. So what do you think of the cameras well, in the dressing room? I think there's no doubt every past player would say that the thing they miss most when they f retire is, is the dressing room, yeah. being amongst the boys. And the first hour after play. Correct. Yeah. And, and that's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just an hour? Yeah. <laughs> well, that, that first 15 hours after a win. Yeah. But, but the yeah, thing but, about it is, is that no. I think nowadays the way the Australian team, and I know in recent times having been around the Australian summer with the commentary, is that, you know, first with Buff and now with Justin, they are very open to having past players back in the rooms. And I got a thrill being invited back in in India in 2017, I think when we won the test at, the first test at Pune. And it was magnificent because it was just like old times, getting back in there and seeing all the games that the boys play and the fun that they're having and the camaraderie. So but it is a big thing a to open that up to the public because it's something that you feel is very special with the Australian well, It's family. personal and very yeah. private, isn't it, that you share with your teammates and things that have gone on in there sometimes will never be spoken out outside of those rooms. I'm a little bit perturbed by it, to be honest. I think coming off the ground and, and whatever, and especially as soon as the batsman gets out, but in, in the rooms, that's where the, the raw emotion is shown. So if you want to get away from anything, that's where you go. So you can show your disappointment and get in there, give a bit of a fist pump, whatever. And to have access to, to that all access, the emotion, just that raw emotion in a room, like someone's taking a couple of wickets, someone's bowled badly, and just see the, the difference in the, in the two people in, within the rooms, the batsman gets out. The Australian public, they don't know what they're in for. In the last couple of years, I've been really impressed with how the players have embraced it. Yeah. I mean, I mean we, we saw this year as well, like at drinks breaks, well, the Australian team's fielding, Talking into cameras are coming in, and they're getting interviewed by the commentators. And I mean, I, I couldn't imagine as a player even now, I couldn't imagine doing that. And I, you know, look, I, I think they need to be given a lot of credit, the current players, for, for buying into that and, and being able to do that. Well, we you spoke about this But if you go back to the 90s and the 80s, yeah. how many guys would you approach with a microphone when they're walking <laughs> off the pit, when they got out early? Not you wouldn't right. go near them. No. Because oh, you'd get no, hit by a bat, wouldn't you? If the producer was in my ear saying, yeah. Alan Borders just got a dark, yeah. and we're three for 30, Mate, that's the last thing the captain would want to be doing. Yeah. But like you say, the, the players are all for it. Um, Buff and, and JL are, are promoting it. It's a, a good thing for the general public to see. And just the, the emotion of the players, I think it's important to get out.